This lucky to talk to Jackson Wang twice, but I am here. No with way! Today. I'm lucky. I'm <laughs> I'm lucky to talk to Ashley from Phoenix. Hey! And I know you're in quarantine, so thank you for letting us help you pass the time while you're stuck in your room. So thank you so much. I'm honored. I'm honored. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations! Your song, new song, "Leave Me Loving You," is out right now. Like you can literally go listen to it right after you watch this interview. And I feel like March is the craziest month for you. I feel like every day you were dropping something new. Every week there was a new song. Like you had Magnetic with the Iconic Rain. You had So Bad with Vava. And now you have Leave Me Loving You. And they're all so different, which I'm obsessed yeah. with. So how did this one come about? Because the vibe is definitely different from the rest. Yeah, I mean, for the other projects, like I said, uh, in March, uh, I, I mentioned on social media that it's a uh, uh, music music month uh it's music march and uh for the i have i have four release i have four releases and three of them there were uh you know, uh collaborations and uh of other artists uh you know obviously they they have their own style and uh i'm trying to you know uh, blend in <laughs> i'm trying to blend in to, to their style and finally we're here um to, for my solo single uh L M L Y, leave me loving you, and yeah, that that's like I dropped it two days before my birthday, and it's kind of like a birthday release, uh, and I hope everyone likes it. And if you haven't hear it, uh, heard it, then it's out everywhere, all music platforms, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I was just telling everyone, like I feel like this is the song you put on when you want to be in a good mood, like. If you want the good vibes, like this is the song for you. It's so good. So thank you for supplying that for us. And I hope you like it. I hope you like it. I feel like you've done a little bit of everything. Like you've done a bunch of EDM stuff before. You've done ballads. This one, it kind of has that like, I don't want to say full 80s, but it definitely has that kind it of has. feel. It is. In yeah. That so vibe. Yeah. Is there any type of genre you want to <laughs> experiment with next? Is there anything you kind of want to work with? Uh, I don't know yet, but I, I think, um, I'm still probably going to stay in this, uh, this zone for a bit until I move on to the next. And, uh, I think for this year, you'll be expecting a lot, uh, for my solo stuff in, in these concepts. That's awesome. I know your fans are loving this, so I'm sure they're going to be happy to hear that it's not going anywhere. So that's awesome. And you mentioned it before, speaking of March, uh, your birthday. So happy early birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Have you. Any plans to celebrate? I know you're still in quarantine, uh, but do you have any, any plans? Me? Not really just working. I, I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy working, you know, every day is like, it's like a, every day is my birthday. Uh, oh. So blessed. Yeah, every day is my birthday. I'm 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 very thankful to to being able to do what I love every day. So I, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need like us a, uh, uh, a personal time. I don't need yeah. holiday vacations. I mean, right now, well, probably you know, sometimes a lot of times would be you know spending with my parents. But other than that, I'm already happy. Uh, you know, doing my stuff as a as an artist, also oh, like running God. the company. Yeah. Yeah, you're busy <laughs> like say if you if you love what you do you never work a day in your life right yep 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 yeah so um like you said you you have a lot of things on your plate a lot of people would call you a jack of all trades or i guess a jackson of all trades that was so cheesy i'm sorry <laughs> do you jack have of all trade. a jack of all <laughs> trades i know i had to go there um but do you have plans for team wang do, can, do you know what's happening in the future for that do you have any goals for that kind of stuff uh, so team wang we're uh we have two different companies right now uh one is for the records label side on uh, music and one is for the fashion brand side for for record label side we're uh planning to you know to to build that thing uh build, build the whole company up and uh you know uh structure every division uh better to grow grow it grow expand this year uh into you know 
uh, doing more productions, videos and music, not just for me, for other artists too. And then for my uh, artist management division, we're, we're looking into new rosters, uh, new, uh, new artists for, for, the, for the company. Yeah. Wow. So what you're saying is you literally never take a day off. <laughs> That's what I, hear. I mean. I'm I'm living. I'm happy right now. Like I'm I'm good. I mean, like I'm blessed to to be able to even do this every single day. Yeah, that's such a good mindset to have. So, I know the whisper on Twitter and all your fans are excited. Jackies are like over the moon that you have a new album coming out in the fall. Yes, and I know you I, probably can't yeah. tell us too much, but maybe you can give us a little hint of what to expect or what's one word you would use to describe the album maybe Sultan? yeah i mean before my album i'll keep dropping different singles so okay. based on based on those singles you'll probably have a little uh a vibe and a feeling and to predict what the album will look like and feel like so i guess it's it's in the same zone yeah. Okay. I love that. And yeah. I know one of your passions too is videos and music videos and directing all that. So I'm sure yeah. we can expect some really cool visual stuff too with your album. Right? Uh, I mean, don't expect, but I'll try my best. I, I just want to <laughs> do whatever I want to see. I, yeah. I, I do whatever I want to watch. Yeah. And, and uh, just... yeah, if Ashley, if you, if you want to drop any singles that uh, we can come up with a treatment, Oh, no. I know you, you do it all, man. You have everything. Like your, your visionary mind is just insane. Like how you think of things is crazy because my brain doesn't work the same way. So when I see someone like you creating clothes, videos, music, like everything, it just, it blows my mind. So you're, you're incredible. It, it's it's Actually, just it's shocking. If, if you have, if you're going to release any singles for yourself, we can make the production happen. Oh, you would be the first person I would call. I can't sing, yeah. but if I could, I would be calling out Jackson Wang ASAP, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I do have to ask, how is Mr. Pink Chair doing? I'm sitting on it. You're sitting on Mr. Pink Chair right now. Mm. Stop it. Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> where, where else do you expect me to sit? <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever made a pink chair trend on Twitter before, but leave it to Jackson Wang to trend a chair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so cute. You know, I, I, uh, I'm in quarantine, and the first day I got here, I brought my uh, studio gear so I can cut songs and record songs here. And it happened as soon as I walk into the room, and two little pink chairs were waiting for me <laughs> there. And I had to record sitting on that. And it's amazing, so cute. I mean, where else can you experience this, right? So no. I just thought, you know, hey, um, I want to take a photo of it and I want to to thank him, you know, thank them actually to Mr. Pink Chair. And, and then the next day I called the hotel uh, to ask if I have, if I can have a regular chair. It's breaking my back. And <laughs> because I have to That's record what I'm like, saying. I'm like, how are you doing this to... interview on that? It must be uncomfortable. You're crazy. No, I had to record. I had to record like this. So, so uh, songs that you dropped this year might have been recorded in that literal chair, right there. I mean, uh, three songs actually recorded in that chair. Is is the pink chair going to be credited in the album? Like, <laughs> um, definitely no. Okay. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> We see a music video in six months with like the chair in the background. <laughs> no, but it's definitely a, a very uh, once in a lifetime experience, you know, like so cute. Like where else you can't find a, you can't, any studio you go, you can't find Mr. Pink no. chair. No, Team there. Wang, you're going to start manufacturing chairs now. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. <laughs> Yo, that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. You oh, that would be a good idea. Just pink chair. Pink, Mr. Pink and Chair. You know the Jackies will buy them out instantly. Like they're gonna sell out. So I'll fast. just make ten. I'll make ten. And, limited edition. Uh, limited edition, Mr. Pink Chair. That's the way to Mi do it. Mr. and Mrs. Pink Chair. Sold. Write it Couple. up right now. Trademark it. Two Trademark chairs. it. Two Jackson. chairs. It's gonna be a spark sparkle in uh in my collection. I love that. Well, before we go, I just want to ask if you have any advice for fellow Jackies on how to keep going because you have a lot on your plate. I know there's a lot of stress in the world right now. And how do you stay motivated to just 
keep going? Because I know sometimes it probably feels overwhelming. Do you have any advice on how to handle those feelings and not let them overcome you? For me, my biggest motivation is uh, my supporters and my fans. You know, they mean the world to me. And that always drives me to, you know, push myself uh, harder and harder every time. And uh, also, like, uh, you know, to me, like, long story short, just focus on your path. Let nothing else disturb you. That's that's the key. It's always, you know, you versing yourself. So, uh yeah, I mean, stay stay in your zone. Stay true to yourself. I love that. Oh, yep. awesome. Well, Leave Me Loving You is out right now. So go listen, stream it on every platform. And we just can't wait to see what else you have in store for us. Because obviously 2021, it's the year of Jackson Wang. Like, we have so much no, Jackson Wang. No, no, no. Like, yes, I mean, I'm is. doing my stuff, like, uh, 40 plus tracks coming out. Wow. See, it's not the year of the ox. It's the year of Jackson. That's what I'm calling it right now. <laughs> oh, I wish. I'll work. I'll work hard. You do. And we all realize it. So we're just so happy to see you continually succeeding. And just, we can't wait to see what you have in store because you're amazing. We love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. I hope you have a great birthday. Thank you, you so 20, much. You take care of yourself. 27? Uh, yeah. 27. Oh my gosh. That's great. So yeah. next year is your golden birthday. You turn 28 on the 28th, right? Oh, so that's your golden birthday. So next nice, year Ashley. is more special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you again for talking with me today. I know you're so busy, so we love you so much and come to Arizona when everything opens up. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much. A lot of crazy albums behind you. Oh, my little oh, K-pop not, collection. Don't yeah, worry about that. I love Don't it. Don't worry. About Amazing. That. Can I see them? Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. I can, I have like a whole bunch. All this. It's a lot. That's wow. where all my extra money goes. <laughs>